Well, good evening, hostility. Knock it off! <laughs> well, good evening, hostility fans. Time once again for the news. Walter Wolf here. Jerry Mann here. Bringing you... The Wolf Man News. <laughs> The next labor trouble to hit the nation will be the animal strike. That's right, the IBABC, the International Brotherhood of Animals, Beasts, and Critters, <laughs> announced today that unless their demands are met, they will run, fly, swim, trot, canter, and gallop off the job at midnight tonight. They're asking for more food and not to be killed all the time. Another tuna boat was captured by Ecuador outside of the 200-mile limit. The president stated that this is getting out of hand. This boat was still in San Diego. <laughs> Several more names were added to the growing list of Democratic presidential candidates today as Harold Stassen, Don Ho, Dave Grubeck, Jack Frost, Father Time, Arlene Francis, and the entire cast of Bridge on the River Kwai tossed their hats into the ring. Now for some news from across the tracks here is Stafford Cripps. Stafford Cripps here where it's happening. Mom's Barbecue Palace was held up again for the fifth time. However, this was the first time the hold-up man got any money. <laughs> On the brighter side, here's a story with a happy ending. Martha Moss and Harold Perkins, childhood sweethearts since 1890, yesterday were married at the age of 93. A case of better late and never. <laughs> A used late model economy car was reported stolen from Honest Marvin's used car lot. Police overtook the stolen car after a chase of 400 feet. <laughs> All yours, Waller. Thank you, Jerry. Medical researchers have discovered a new disease which has no symptoms. It's impossible to detect and there's no known cure for it. <laughs> Fortunately, it's confined to New Jersey. <laughs> South Vietnamese President Thieu has announced he will enter the Wisconsin primary as a Republican. <laughs> he feels that Vietnam should not be an issue. <laughs> Says he inherited it from President Johnson. <laughs> Interstate Highway 95 was the scene of a freak accident today as three freaks in a camper crashed into six freaks in a van. According to the latest statistics, the new street lights in Glendale have reduced crime by 50%. It would have been 100%, but half of the lights were stolen. <laughs> San Diego. A gorilla escaped from the San Diego Zoo today. He is to be considered dangerous. He's carrying a knife. <laughs> Do not approach without a banana. The Food and Drug Administration has issued a warning today that chewing the fingernails causes tooth decay in short people. <laughs> Thousands of senior citizens will converge on Washington next week in the first major demonstration by Elderly Lib. They plan a series of nonviolent marches and naps. <laughs> and now, here with all the sports, is Charlie Horse. Charlie Horse here. We tell them as we see them. If we don't, we use old scores. In racing at Santa Anita today, the winner of the third race was Flying Tiger, who finished last in the second race. In basketball today, the Athletic Humanitarian Award went to Wilt Chamberlain for his generous award of $100,000 to the State Home for the Tall. <laughs> A new world record was set in the mile run today by an unknown who ran the distance in 350 flat. A policeman came in second, a bullet came in third. <laughs> Here's Al Sleet, your hippy-dippy weatherman. Hey, what's happening? Hey, Pasa. Hey, what you call your Pasa? Al Sleet here, your hippy-dippy weatherman. If you'll take a look at our national weather map, you'll see that we don't have one. So try to picture last night's map up in your mind. Remember all them lines and numbers. Weather was dominated by a whole lot of little low-pressure centers. A whole lot of lows. What this country needs is a good high. Huh? 
High pressure should pass through St. Louis. Joplin, Missouri, Oklahoma City is mighty pretty. You see me on the Well, everybody's got their own little trip, you know. sleep from your piano bar in the sky. Before we say goodnight, we want to leave you with a thought. There's an old saying, they never come back. But it's not true. In 1954, Frank Sinatra came back. In 1970, Richard Nixon came back. And tomorrow night, we'll be back. 